Hi, and welcome to this multi-part video series called Phone Right. My name is David Anthony. And if this is your first time here, welcome. And do consider subscribing, because this channel is all about helping you go further and faster in business and in life. So let's get started. Welcome back. And I hope you had some lively discussions. More of them are coming up as we go through the program together. For now though, there's one other very important concept we want you to think about throughout this entire program. It's this. Think of anyone who interacts with you as a visitor. Now, that could be a visitor to your company as a whole, or simply a visitor to your department, or a visitor to your office. And it could be an external or internal person. And actually, that's very important. We want to use the skills here for both internal and external calls. Whatever way is appropriate for you, the key concept remains the same. Think of anyone who interacts with you as a visitor. Now, that visitor may want to do a number of things. They may want to buy something from you. They may be an existing customer wanting some additional information. They may want to pass some information on to you, or of course, they may want to sell you something. Whatever it is, the key point remains the same. We need to think of anyone who interacts with you as a visitor. Now, of course, when someone calls you on the phone, you have no idea which category they fall into. So, since you don't know that yet, it seems logical to suggest that our role initially is very simply this, to give them a delightful welcome. And that leads us nicely to the first part of our program together. We call it Delighting Visitors. Let's look at how we can best do that now and develop some critically important performance standards for making sure visitors get to know your company as a delightful place to visit. When you think of delighting visitors, it's useful to reverse the process. Many times when you call other companies, you get anything but a pleasant welcome. Many times it's just abysmal, isn't it? And sometimes it's outrageously bad. Consider, for example, this voicemail message. To contact our service department, press 1. For outstanding repairs, press 2. For repairs that have been with us for less than 48 hours, press 3. If your repair is under warranty, press 4. If your repair was sent away for repair, press 5. If your repair is for re-repair, press 6. To repeat the options, press 7. Now that's fascinating, isn't it? It's as if there was a signboard that you couldn't read, and then they ask you to repeat the experience. This is a classic example of thinking the wrong way. Instead of thinking, our goal is to delight visitors, They've thought, how can we save money by using voicemail? They've completely forgotten about the visitor and the visitor's frustrations. There has to be a better way, doesn't there? And we'll find it right here very soon. For now, though, let's talk about the best possible ways to delight visitors when there is direct voice contact. Through extensive research, we found there are just five initial performance standards that move you to outstanding performance and therefore massive rewards. To get there, let's look at what the poor performers do. Take a note of these. They exhibit a negative change in their facial muscles when they pick up the phone. They have no defined time frame for picking up the phone. They're simply not aware of the crucial importance of words to welcome and delight visitors. ABC Company. What? Yes? ABC Company, how may I direct your call? Can I ask who's calling? And they do not listen. ABC Company, hold the line, please. So that's what the poor performers do. 
the outstanding performers, the ones that your team is heading towards, do it quite differently. They use quite specific performance standards. Like this. Performance standard number one. Smile to the point of a grin before you answer the call. That's right, they smile as soon as that phone rings. And as well as smiling, they have a defined time frame within which they pick up the phone. It's given by this performance standard. Performance standard number two. Answer the call on the second ring within three to five seconds. And as well as smiling, picking up the phone within three to five seconds, they answer the phone consistently in a predefined, customer-focused way. Here's the format. It's performance standard number three. Greet the customer with an appropriate good morning or good afternoon, then give your company name and or your department name, then use two magic words, this is, and then end by using your first and your last name. Good evening, Rubber Television. This is Jeremy Norton. Good afternoon, Jones and Partners. This is Deborah Thomas. Good morning, this is Paul Raleigh. Good morning, ABC Company. This is Barbara Prestia. So, if I were doing it, it would sound like this. Good morning, Results Accountant Systems. This is Paul Dunn. Now, you'll notice all of the people there were answering the call with a very specific script or system. It's very important to note that. You see, using a system means you know precisely what to say. And that in turn means that you can focus much, much more on the person on the other end of the phone call. The system you heard people using is one that really does delight visitors. And it's a system that produces a lot of other benefits for everyone on the team as well. And we'll talk about all of those in a moment. For now, let's look at two more characteristics of outstanding performers. These people really are listening, aren't they? You'll never hear them say this. Hold the line, please. And to show they're really delighted to hear from the caller and to let the caller know they're listening, you'll hear them always applying this performance standard. So performance standard 4B then is to give out positive strokes. Of course. Thank you so much for calling. I'll put you through to Jennifer right away. Oh, fine. Thanks so much for calling about that. Thank you for letting me know that. Uh-huh. Sure. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Sure. Great. Certainly. Thank you for letting me know that. And as we'll discover in our next segment, a positive stroke is simply something you use to give another person a verbal reward. Now you might want to practice giving some of those on the break we're about to have. Use this break to discuss some of the things you've seen and heard so far. And I'll join you right back here when you're ready. I hope you got a lot of value today. If you did, click the like button. What that does is help us build our non-profit business school, UBLA. Check out in the description below to find out more about what we're doing and how you can help. This is part of a multi-part series, so keep your eye out for the next video. In the meantime, we've done a great playlist about how I do small businesses fail. Check this link over here, and this will show you a great little list about how you can be successful in business. So thank you very much. Catch you again soon.